Warning, this podcast contains excessive swearing and foul language, mostly by Eddie. It is therefore not suitable to be listened to by small children or at work. You have been warned. Hey Ed. What's up? I was catching the bus to work the other day, man. Mm Mm-hmm. And I, I, when I catch a bus, I like to sit at the front, you know, scope everyone coming out and stuff like that. So anyway, stops up there near the station and this, this Sheila gets on with her baby. And she gets on and the bus driver goes, hey, love. And she goes, yeah. He goes, it's the fucking ugliest baby I've ever seen. <laughs> the woman just stares at him and I'm thinking, fuck, man, you know. Anyway, she goes down, goes and sits just behind me next to this, this dude. And she's fuming, this chick. She's pretty pissed, man. You're fucking telling her a baby's ugly and shit. So anyway... As she would be. Fuck yeah. Anyway, she's telling this dude. He's like, oh, the fucking bus driver just insulted me. And this dude goes, oh, fuck, don't take that. Look, go down, tell him off. It's not not to do that sort of shit. And he goes, well, and I'll hold your monkey for you too, like. <laughs> 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 oh, she was spewing! <laughs> But it was a fucking ugly baby. (laughs) That's what happened. I'm just telling you what fucking happened, man. You can have an ugly kid. <laughs> or a monkey, I couldn't tell what the fuck it was. It was fucking ugly. <laughs> but anyway, what's this, Ed? What are we doing? We are doing pod deficiency. Number seven. Damn right you are. Number seven. That was your favourite basketballers number. It was. It was one of your favourite basketballers number, KJ. But yeah, this is podcast number seven. Broadcasting live from Game Deficiency HQ, except no fake ones. None. Don't even fucking look at that shit. Nothing at all. Fucking GDHQ, that's us. And chilling at GDHQ now, Mm -hmm. it's had backyard renovation. Oh, yeah. Fucking looking (laughs) classy. If anyone appreciates a a yard and a garden, (laughs) you'd appreciate mine. You sure would. Yeah. Are you impressed? Vaguely. Ah, oh, it was out there saying how rad it was, wants to come and read these comics in the garden, <laughs> wants to eat out there and shit. I don't remember any of that. The, the fucking liar. <clears throat> anyway. Mm. So let's get straight down to business, go. Let's. I could yak all night, but I won't. Ghost versus Bigfoots. That's it. Ghosts are real. Bigfoots are not real. We had we asked the people. The people have spoken. And what did they say? They said, "Who got more wins? You got two versus yeah. none." Fucking so you, there you go. <laughs> you that go. doesn't matter if it was ninety nine <clears throat> to a hundred. No, nah. I still won. A win's a win. W's a W. And that just goes to prove that ghosts are real and Bigfoots are not real. But. You can't deny our viewers' opinions, Ed. No, no, but we figured it out. We figured out why Bigfoots aren't real. Because they don't exist. No, because all the evidence and stuff that that proved that they do... Yeah. That's not real because anything that you haven't heard of... Yeah. ...doesn't exist. That's right. So we found that that out because if you've seen, like, we're, we're kind of amateur scientists. If you've seen our goat simulator... Oh, um, video, yeah. Like... We do like to dabble in a bit of bit of backyard science, and we know everything about goats now, man. Mm. I'm not and messing with them. So we've we've figured out that if Gab hasn't heard of something or someone yeah. or you know a place doesn't exist, that's right. Like for instance, mm. Sonic. Yeah, haven't heard of a good Sonic game, so it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Simple. <laughs> that's you're right. Spot on, Ed. It's, that's true. Now that's it. It's fact. That's I, fact. I run a couple of things by you too. We'll see if they're real. Have you heard of a, a bloke called Jack Kirby? Yes. I've heard of Jack Kirby. Have you heard of... That's good because it's good that he exists. Yeah. Because he's a legend. He's the king. Um, what about the Manhattan Project? You heard of that? Yeah. That's <laughs> real. You're just saying yes. <laughs> no, I've heard of the Manhattan Project. I'm not that shit. What is it? 
the project in Manhattan. <laughs> All right, to the, to that point, who's Jack Kirby? Jack Kirby is like a comic book legend oh, writer go. guy. He, he showed me a docker. He is a I rad thought you would have forgot that. He was nah, an artist. No, no, no. Artist, yeah. A fucking rad <laughs> artist too, man. Not as good as me, but he's nah. still pretty good. <laughs> mm. These exist. Manhattan Project exists too. Tell me if it exists then. Well, it does, because you've heard of it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it does exist. <laughs> but ghosts are real. I'm going to do a ghost tour one day, and I'm going to fucking videotape it and show you that there's a ghost there. Mm. And Ed can take take the camera. To- <laughs> I'll go down the park and find some Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> I hope you do. You'll hey, be famous, and then I'll be a manager. Uh, then you'll be eating fucking crow pie. Nah, it, oh, nah. You'll fucking love it. Anyway. Yeah, next. What's next? The finish your game debacle. Oh, yeah. You had the Alice in Wonderland something. Alice Madness. Madness some something. Thing. I did. Things happened. Yeah, yeah, I have that, yeah. How'd you go? Yeah, didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Nah. Didn't play it, so I didn't clock it. But... <laughs> But on the other hand, yeah. I've well, I didn't play it today, but I'm so close to finishing Mario three on the on the DS. You downloaded the, it at my yeah, house. Yeah, downloaded it at your house. Six bucks fifty. Thank you, Nintendo. Did a bit of a bargain. That's a bargain. A rad game. Is it Fucking, a good, good port. Yeah, it plays really well. Like I, even if it didn't, I'd still clock it. But but no, look, it plays real well, man. Like it's a really good. Um, that, we've got that, don't we? Yeah, we've got that on NES and shit. Oh, yeah, we got boxed. Yeah, we do have a boxed. It's number two we don't got. Yeah, we don't have Mario 2. But look, Ed, as, as we say, can't play the box. Can't play the box. So the box is even in the, sh- in the cupboard somewhere, not even being shown. Oh, yeah, we've got it. That we got a stack of... Two paper. girls kissing on the TV. Woo-woo. Now that's hot. Anyway, we've got, yep. we've got a stack of... Um, Game Boy Advance boxes that we want to get rid of, so instead of throwing them out, yeah, we'll um, we'll do a video and show you guys, and then we'll send them to whoever wants. Yeah, them. if you want them, fucking, it doesn't come with the game because we just, just the boxes. You can play the games. Yeah, yeah, you can't play the box, but yeah, if anyone wants them, fucking take them. And so you finish Swap the game for your challenge. Sister. Yeah, I had well, Bioshock. Yeah, did you finish it yet? I didn't because I got a bug. Did you know what sort of bug? A ladybug? <coughs> no, it was it worse than that? A Christmas bug? No. Uh, Keep going. Volkswagen bug? <laughs> not bad, but not. Wouldn't what have sort of bug? That. Is a knit? No. I oh, got... did you get crabs again? No, I still had them from last time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I've learned, I've I take it a bug, <laughs> a bug on your computer. No, in the in the game, it glitched out. I finished oh, a level. Likely story. And then it said... That's what happened to Alice as well. I was beating oh, yeah, the boss yeah, and then it <laughs> got a glitch. <laughs> a bug. But anyway... Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It said um, the next bit I had to do mm-hmm. was something on the, the level before. Yeah. Which is what I had to do to get to this level. So I'd already done it. Yeah. I had to collect a chlorophyll solution stuff. Oh, they see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, so I thought I'd go back and just do it and every time I, i'd find one it wasn't adding it to it had six out of seven yeah and so i can't progress in the game so i have to if it go back to another oh. save game so that's I, shit yeah i can't be bothered with that game for the moment well, well at least he tried i didn't even fucking play <laughs> alice but i do want to play alice it's just that i got mario 3 and it's i love mario 3 but, so i think we'll um We'll stop that bullshit for a while because <laughs> well, we're never gonna. <laughs> we'll just say what games we have clocked. Yeah. Instead of trying to do one because we're both busy and and stuff like that. Um, Ed likes to be busy <laughs> and all that stuff. But yeah, no, we'll just tell you what games we do beat from now on. So that's the one thing like that the consoles have over the PCs when they port the console games to PC. Mm-hmm. Because they got to change all the code and shit. That sometimes they fuck it up and you get all that stuff. That fucks up like that. Yeah, which oh. you won't get it on the PC. But it's not I mean, your on the, fault. On the console. Look, for once, it's not your fault or it's not 
the controller's fault. Yeah. It was the actual game's fault. The mouse was playing up, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cat landing, chasing it again. It wasn't landing those shots. Yeah, fucking cats chasing them. Anyway. Mm. But I nearly beat Mario 3, and I will beat it, like, tomorrow. Oh, there you go. Point. We'll see if you can, if you beat it by I'll next podcast. I can beat it by next time I do a shit, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I will. I'm quite regular. <laughs> But you don't need to know about my bowel actions. Carry on, Edmund. I think they would like to, Gav, so to discuss it a bit further. Oh, well, I've... The consistency, colour. Well, if you go by the stool types from one to five, <laughs> I'm basically a fourth stool shitter. <laughs> really? Unless you get the runs and you're so, squirting. So, Gav, yeah. in March 30, 2001, yep. Sega pulled... One of the biggest bitch moves in video game what, history. They didn't name their third console the same as their first one, did they? No, no, that's that's not a bitch move. That's a fucking retard. Oh, okay. That's, that's blowing, you know, going full retard. Yeah. But what Sega did... Yeah. Good old Sega. They made another Sonic game. Brad Company. That makes shit Sonic games. They fucking discontinued the Dreamcast. Dickheads. After... So why? I don't know. Why but, would you do that? They say, because of the poor sales, because the, the PS2 was killing everything, but... That's an excuse, is it? Well, it is for, for them. But is that true? Uh, probably. I don't have the internet. Foxtel hasn't had any docos on Seagy yet, so otherwise I'd know. The thing is, like, the Dreamcast is... A lot of people like it. I love it, man. It's a great console. Fuck yeah. Hums like a ripper. Yeah, it growls at you and shit. Yeah. And squeaks and squeals and all cool but stuff. That's a rad system. But it was up against the the GameCube. It didn't yeah. do too well, but <coughs> Nintendo didn't puss it. No, that, well, that's it, Nintendo yeah. didn't shit in their hat and go home. Nah, nah, they fucking rocked it. The Xbox came out, the mm. first Xbox. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, not the not third the X, one. Not, not the Xbox One. Nah, but the first Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. The we actually, Xbox we, one. You, yeah, we, we do that joke all the time, you guys. Mm. We were having a chat the other day, <laughs> yeah. and we fucking did that for real. Like, yeah. Gav said, I got a um, an Xbox game. Is that where that? It, like the the first Xbox One. What the fir, the what the fir, first? The, what what he's saying is, yeah, the <laughs> that's original a, that's one. A, that's how we were, we got fucked up because we they named their uh, third console the the first one. You don't even know what the fuck we're talking about when you're talking to cunts about Xbox when it's fucking... I don't even want to talk about it. That's so stupid. <laughs> Seriously, tell us who the fuck it was who fucking came <laughs> up with that. If any of you listeners know, tell us, because, oh, fucking, I'll... T- I'll you I take a brick to him? No, 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 nothing like that. I'll just tell him. You're Pay stupid. Him. Oh, you might I'll enjoy hurt. it. Well, she might enjoy it. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they... They pulled out of the console race. Yeah. Went to game develop, uh, development and publishing. Yeah. And then you had the Sonic on the Nintendo for the first time. Exactly. Shit like that. And that proves that Sonic's shit. Changed the gaming landscape. Mm-hmm. Kissing again. But people can't see that gap, so they don't give a fuck. Okay, I do, but anyway, sorry, Ed. <clears throat> so you had... That was, that was a time when there was four consoles on yeah the market, well, that's true yep right yep now we've got we went back to three because the the xbox came in yeah the original yeah changed the the gaming landscape forever yeah because they full pushed it yeah what do you reckon it'd be like now if there was if it went back to four if sega had a current gen console if they'd kept if they went to the the um like the Xbox and PlayStation and Wii yeah. generation, if there was a Sega, Dreamcast 2 or something. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> or they they probably would have called it a different name, something rad, because... Yeah, not the Sega 1. The um, Sega always named their shit really cool names. Yeah, Master System, Mega Drive. Saturn, and then Dreamcast. Yeah, they're rad names. All oh, tough names. Oh, well, think about it. All right, if they were to come out now... Mm. Would they try and be original like Nintendo? Or, if they didn't, they'd have to be really good to try and compete because otherwise... Now, it would make itself a preference, Ed, because it'd have to be Blu-ray disc, yes? 
to hold their information, yeah. Yeah. It'd have to um, be HDMI and all that shit. Mm. So it'd just be the same console as the <laughs> Xbox One, third one, or <laughs> or a PS4. a PS4. Would it not? Or yeah, could, yeah. Because what would they do? Because Nintendo it'd just the only difference would be it'd it'd probably be a a black rectangle. Yeah, <laughs> like and a it, console. Like they they maybe they do something like still have VMUs or something, which is which was redundant by the time the Xbox came out with a hard drive. Yeah. Same generation, too. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And then, yeah, like, the sound chip's not going to be seen because it's proper audio, like, full movie, yeah. like music audio. Yeah. The, like, you can have a, a more powerful graphics processor. Yeah. But, like, the graphics are going to look the same. The only difference would be maybe they'd have a funky controller or... And then it's just the exclusives again. Yeah, because I was just going to say... It differentiates from... It would be all the same games as a PS4 or an Xbox One, which is a third one. Anyway. But then they'd have the whole back catalogue of Sega games. What, Sonic? No, but fucking deal. But they make a bunch of other Sega games. Exclusives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, well, it depends how they go that way. Because Nintendo's not HD... Well, it is HDMI, sorry. It's not Blu-ray or anything. No, it's not Blu-ray disc. <clears throat> it's just disc. Mm. So DVD. But then again, if Sega was to release a console, and yeah, okay, it'd be the same as the Xbox One, which is a third one, or the PS4, right? But you know what would make them fucking rad out of the others? What's that? Fucking make your DVD player work and make your fucking... <laughs> out the box. <laughs> yep, and make your CDs play straight away. I'd fucking I'd support it, but look, it'd just be a preference, would it not? Yeah, because it, it it has kind of like the whole thing with the the technologies plateaued, and so it's it's all it's level. There's no real like difference. Like the like apparently the PS4's got more uh, powerful internals. Like it's a it's a bit more powerful, but what than an Xbox One, which is a third one? Yeah. Does it really? Yeah, just a, like a little bit, but but still, but not so you notice. Uh, but they're they're having problems with the Xbox getting like sixty FPS, ten eighty p. What's that? The picture on the screen? Yeah, well, ten eighty p. You know, is the resolution and, and yeah. the the FPS is the frames per second. Yeah, are they fucking up? Well, they they yeah they they can't get it as they're having trouble getting like that resolution and that frame rate. Well, compared to PS4, and is that rolling good? No, PS4, it's easier to do it, apparently. Oh, shit. That's internet um, information there, so... Mm. Yeah, but fuck. Um, look, I do miss Sega. We've had plenty of good years on <coughs> Sega, man, and there's rad consoles out there mm. and shit, so fuck, I don't know, man. What would you do? We'd probably get it anyway. We'll end up getting them all anyway. But, but if... Because like, they, they skipped a generation. Yeah. If they if they bust it out with one, like everyone would go fucking crazy and go, oh, on any Dreamcast, or would it just be the, like the good Dreamcast two or whatever, or would it just be the the Dreamcast fans, which is probably less than. Well, that depends if they if they're gonna make their console any different to the other two, if possible. Like say, look, because Nintendo's got the Wii U and that's got the fucking tablet and shit. It's rad. That's a little bit different and shit, you know. Mm. But yeah, Sega would have to. They'd have to... I don't know what. would. I don't know. Would they go different or would they just be same as the other two? So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that's what... It comes back to that every time, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. But like you were saying to me the other day that a Master System and a NES is fucking totally different. Yeah, yeah. That was the last podcast. Oh, yeah. See, you've heard it too <laughs> and all that. But yeah, see, and that's not what it does now. And that's what Eddie said. And the cunt's right. Aren't you? Sometimes. Well, you are that time. I'll give you that. You're not right about Bigfoots, but you're right about that. Hey, time will tell. Yeah, I know. I'm, I, look, if you can prove me wrong, I'll fucking eat my words. History will bear me out. Yeah, look, please prove me wrong. I'd fucking love it. <laughs> you always do anyway. So, what? Well, let's uh, switch subjects. Yep. So, what's the most you've ever paid for a game? Not including like the 
60 or 80 bucks for a brand new one off yep. the shelf okay but for an old school game which and I think mine well, you know I'm a cheapo so fucking I don't know 10 bucks currently the most that I paid was a, a, when I was drunk once I bought the DuckTales for 30 bucks off of the Ooh. eBay's Dark Tales. Yeah, you did that, and that was a rad <coughs> buy because that's a pretty cool game, man. Yeah, I don't know how much it's actually worth, but I was, it gives yeah. a shit. Yeah, it's, drunk on eBay, you got to be careful. Yeah, fuck yeah, you bought it and you fucking like it. So, um, well, the most fuck I don't know, ten bucks probably. I fucking I don't pay any more than ten bucks, do I? I don't know. Yeah, probably I'd say ten bucks. I bought a couple of games for ten bucks. So that's the most I've ever paid. But what have you guys paid? Yeah, what's the, what's the most you've paid for a game? Yep, and I don't buy games fucking because it comes with the box and it's ten times more expensive either. Mm. But look, people but then, like that. Then there's like when you get, they could pay like 30, 40, 50 bucks for a lot. Mm. Mm. But then you get a bunch of games. Yeah, I've done that a few but times. Then it, but then it works out to eight to five bucks a game yeah yeah and that's why it's fucking rad to do that yeah but we've done that heaps of times man i'm always sussing that shit out that's where we've got a fair chunk of the the old nest collection yeah yeah i love the old nest collection all right so the other the other end of that question Mm -hmm. that's how much you have paid Mm -hmm. what would you be willing to pay what's the what's like the highest you'll go or is there a game that you might really want yeah that you'd so wait, wait, let's start off. All right. How what what's what? How high would you go, realistically? And then don't try and be act tough like you're a big cheapo. Well, I am a big cheapo, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, if there's a game that I really want, like I want Wu Tang Taste of Pain pretty bad, mm. and I want um, Def Jam Fight for New York pretty bad. So I don't know what they're worth these days or something. But look, yeah, if I came across one of those who are, look, I'm, and I'm saying I'd probably pay up to fifty bucks and. Maybe that's like a rip-off. Is that for a PS1? Yeah, but look, it's because I want the game. I'd pay that for it. Fuck yeah. I would. What about you? You'd, you'd, what about you? <clears throat> I'm thinking they're 50, 60 bucks for something I really want. Yeah, or, you've got to really, really want yeah. it. Yeah. But then there's the thing, like, if you know, like, if you see, a, like, a stadium events or something down mm. the shops and they're saying, oh, this is rare and it's, it's worth fucking a hundred bucks yeah but you know it's worth like a thousand or something would you would you lash out oh fuck yeah and buy it just so you've got it because yeah because of the the rareness and stuff Uh, uh, yeah kind of but more than what would you do with the game because most of those really rare games suck except for like little samson it's just in the fucking collection yeah i guess but but then again looking at that yeah okay stadium vents say it's worth a grand or whatever and yeah i could flip it would you buy it and then flip it? I'd probably flip it, but <laughs> it, but that's a bargain at a hundred bucks. If it was worth a thousand, if that's yeah. the case, I'd just I'd be wrapped. I'd, yeah, I'd pay the hundred bucks if I had it. Remember when we thought we had it down at Cash uh, Thingy at Cash, Cash Mart, Mart? Yeah, for like forty. I was because fucking... I saw was it, was I saw that episode in S Pursuit. Yeah, and then I think it wasn't. I oh, know um Thingy Aaron did a um Aaron Aaron did a what you call it a review of it. Mm. Mm. and then I, I was like I saw that you showed me I was like fuck that's that one that's down at the thingy down at the cash mart yeah and then I sent you down yeah I went to down. have a look and it, but it wasn't it was a different one yeah it was but still look we were gonna we thought it was we'd, like it was 40 bucks yeah yeah something like and the guy was gonna do it for like 28 or something <laughs> for me too you know mm. but yeah we thought we were on a winner and we would have paid that man I fucking had the cash in the pocket and it would have been in the GD collection I'm trying to think of a game. I, you know what I really want is um, the Super Metroid for the SNES. Yeah, that, the game looks rad. We don't have that. I was looking at it the other day on the, on the eBay's. Yeah, and what's it go for? It's going for 60, 80. What, just the game itself? Yeah, I think so. Like Not a, box. Something like that. Like, it was expensive. Shit. Shit. But then you can get the Japanese one. Yeah. For, like, 30 bucks free delivery. Well, well... We yeah. do have a Super Famicom, and you can play it if you read Japanese. Yeah. I'm thinking I might go that way, because I don't think there's any text, really. Not really. In Metroid, there might be a bit, but, like, if, if there's no story bits or, like, bits you have to read, mm. you just have to run around and 
play the game. Yeah. Yeah. And you love the original Metroid. You fucking love that. You de- fucking printed out all the maps and shit for it, didn't you? And all these papers. Was that for Metroid? That's the one as I was drawing as I was going. That was for Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. Oh, is that what it was? But we yeah. got the official Nintendo Player's Guide. Which yeah. has all that big map and walkthrough of the, of the first one. Fuck yeah. And then Tails gave us the two Game Boy Advance ones. Mm, yeah, that's right. He did. Rad can. And then there's... um. There's a something on. There's a GameCube one. I think we've got. Yeah, we've got a GameCube one. There's two Wii ones. Yeah, there's the Wii ones. Uh, so be good to have like the Metroid collection. And I'd like to play through them all too. Yeah, know? one uh, one after another. Yeah, 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 that's rad. That'd Clock be, them all in order. That'd be a good thing to do. So, and then yeah, but that's where I hit the wall at the. At the SNES one, which I think was the third one, maybe. Yeah, not the first one. But Super the Metroid, third one. yes, but they didn't call it. Metroid one, no, nah, because they're, they're not, not fucked in the head. Yeah, that's because Nintendo not fucking, mm. fucking whack box. But then again, also that fact is when we go out and and hunt and shit, the fact of finding that game on your hunt and shit, you know, like at a market or an op shop or some shit, is also good. But then I'd buy it, then I'd have two copies if I saw one out and about. Mm. So, but then you yeah. got like, what about what's his face, Rad Dave? Yep. It's got like a ten hundred billion Saturn games. Fuck yeah. And he's kind of hit the wall now because the only ones he doesn't have mm-hmm. are the rare yeah. ones and, and the pricey ones. Yeah. So is that like when you get to that point, what do you do? Do you we, keep hoping that you're going to get one in the wild or then do you start every now and then? Yeah, probably. I'd just probably every now and again just, just poach one grab one, a, yeah. fill it in and then go on to the next one I want to collect everything for. And Rad David fucking collect another bunch of everything too if he didn't have it already. But yeah, I'd fucking for the right game, man, with something that I'm hanging out for. Yeah, I go up to probably fifty bucks. So that's the question for you guys for this episode. Yep. What's the most you paid, and what's a, what's the most you would pay, and what's it for? What would yeah. you spend the and money then, on? And then is there a game that you'd break that limit? Yeah. To buy that, like you're just hanging for. Fuck yeah, or what's a game you're really, really hanging for hardcore, you know? Mm. Fuck yeah. So that's it. That's the cue. You drop us the A's, and we'll fucking read them. <clears throat> and um, speaking of questions, no, no, I, more. The, um, we've got to give a shout out to Chief Dancing Ostrich. That's a rad name. It's a super rad name. Because um, they put a rad comment on the Bigfoot versus Ghost um debacle yeah yeah comment. and it just yeah it, it's, a, it's such a well-reasoned um post and like just a rare thing to see on the internet you know? yeah and and the dude basically said that he believes in ghosts not bigfoots no he said he doesn't believe in either yeah i know but oh but yeah too, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 just to makes make me feel, feel better. better so i've got three and you've got none Nah, <laughs> but nah, yeah. Thank, th- he's right. That was very well said and shit. And um, yeah. And once again, you got a fucking rad name, man. Yeah, it's a ripper name. I love it. And then um, I haven't really been asking for questions because we don't get that much. But um, John Boston. Ah, uh-huh, Boston. He's represent a, mass. He's a bit of a rad cunt. This guy. Yeah, and that's I, a rad I'm, name. Yeah, I want to stop saying cunt. Starting now. Can't. Can't. But you but don't John mean Boston, it in a negative No, it's way. just, yeah. It's just a vocabulary. It's just Australian. It's, it's yeah. like breathing. That's right. But, but the, anyway, what? So, uh, John chucked down a question, and it's a bit rad, so yeah. you have to give it a read. So, John Boston asks, what yeah. is your favourite food to smash when gaming? There's a war going on in the consoles right now, and the other war is people who prefer Mars bars over a Snickers. Oh, <laughs> that's a right question. That's a fucking awesome <laughs> question, man. So what, All right, let's start from the top. All right, so the, but the thing is, get you, yeah. <laughs> eating is cheating. Everyone knows that. You don't eat where you're gaming. Yeah, we do. That was a joke, Gav. Oh, okay. No, we don't. Remember jokes? Yep. Fucking, I'm the king of them. <laughs> but mine are funny. Oh, all right. That's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all right. Is that a question still, or are we going to the next part? No, what do you... <coughs> what do I eat? Is yeah. that what smashing do you have, means? Yeah, it's like like smashing a beer or <coughs> no. smashing down a couple of dories. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, while gaming, I like to fart a bit. <laughs> you, do, you like to fart a bit when you're not gaming. Yeah, <laughs> I like to tend to. Um, I don't know. I don't eat much food, so maybe I'll eat the snacks. I do like a little snack while gaming. Have a dip in between. Hmm. Yeah, what about you? You, I saw heaps of pizza boxes on your fucking floor in your bedroom. Yeah, but that's, that's for tea. Yeah, but you like to smash that while playing games, do you? No, that's, that's in between. But I'm, I, I think I'm actually the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, the stereotype. Not a, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm the stereotype. I like my fucking, my Doritos. Ah, oh, yeah. corn chips. Yeah, yeah, that's a Getting Mexican the cheese dust there. on the fucking... Uh, the, cunt, the controller the cunt's a ninja and a mexican <laughs> mexican ninja yeah Yeepah. oh i saw him playing fucking ninja the other day on uh, master system and was rad at it i sucked at it on that one nah it's better than i could do and that's something because yeah, i've been working on that one i might be able to i'm getting pretty close to mm. being able to finish it got to get to the top of the tower ed i forgot to do the um when you press both buttons at once, you disappear. Yeah. Like I died three times before I remembered you could do that. Oh, so. you silly Billy. That's All right. That, what's the next question? That's it. Oh, was that the question? What we like to smash? She also, John Boston asked the other time, um, the podcast before mm-hmm. about PlayStation one yep. music. It was rad. There, there was a Wu Tang taste of pain. It was rad. Said so that just have licensed Wu Tang songs. Yep. And they were fucking rad too. Well, there you go, John Boston. And once again, John Boston, that's a rad name. Mm. We're going to nickname you Mass for Massachusetts. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> rad Mass. <laughs> that's you, Rad Mass. All right, Rad Mass. Yep. And we look at the notes. Ah, oh, Gav's a cheapo. It's everyone's favorite segment. Fucking oath. Lay it on us. Well, I sit here and proclaim myself as a cheapo. Well, and class, I believe I, I've said on many You have occasions. said, but funny enough, look, I'm cheapo and you say I am and you see me being cheapo on that and that's fair enough. Mm-hmm. But would you believe I was on YouTube, as you guys are now. Or on Podbean. Or on Podbean, one or the other. But if you're um, on Podbean, Beam. Bean. Bean. Is it a bean? Yeah. Like a baked bean? Yeah. Podbean. Oh, I thought it was a beam. No. Which would make more sense, but it's a bean. I mean, it's not made by Xbox, is it? No, because it's not Podbean 1. Oh, okay, when well, it's the third one, yeah. It should be, yeah, the third iteration of the thing, but... So you're watching YouTube, you're a cheapo. <coughs> Go. <coughs> right, so I'm on YouTube, I'm typing in, and I thought, well, I'm a cheapo, let's see if there's <laughs> any other cheapos. So I type in cheapos, and this show comes up, man, called Extreme Cheapskates. And you fucking think I'm a cheapo. <laughs> man. Gab's getting excited. Oh, man. This family, right? <laughs> now, there was a big fat dude. He's a dad. And then there was fat mama. This is American. Fat mama. And then there was fat baba. Well, fat 10-year-old kid anyway. What they... Excuse me. <laughs> what they do is... Sit back. They sit. We sit back, right? Big Papa, they fill up the bath. Big Papa has a fucking wash, right? Has a wash, gets out. Big Mama fucking pops in afterwards with the same water. Has her scrub down. Then little fatty goes in, the son. (laughs) Gets the scraps, gets Papa fucking in there first. Mm. Mama second. God knows what's coming out of Mama's... Bits. uh, Yeah, bits and pieces. God knows if fucking Papa's washed under the foreskin in a month. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know, but that's realistic. <laughs> then little Bubba gets in there, all just to save water. Now, why does the kid go last? The kid should go first. He's getting all the leftover skin and yeah, shit. He'd be the, it'd probably be dirty, but he wouldn't have all the sweat and yucky adult shit on him. No, I no, know, but still, that's fucking gross. Yeah. That's gross as... But yeah, that's fucking cheap. I don't fucking fill up the bath, have a bath, and then Emmy jumps in. Nah, nah. We fucking roll with our own shit, you know? And then also, there's this couple, right? And they fucking... (laughs) Now, this is so shit, what they do. Okay, they think they're good by saving water and shit. They go and have a bath together, shower together, these people, and it's three minutes. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. Stop getting in. 
right? <laughs> because you're going to ruin it. But they get in three minutes and they're in, right? Mm-hmm. They first of all, she puts a shampoo conditioner in her hair, right? Rubs it in. Mm-hmm. He, then he rubs his hand on her scone, her yeah. head, to get shampoo and puts it in his hair. Right? Yeah, that's the main thing. Oh, fuck. What if she's got fucking nits and fucking scabies and shit? If he's sleeping next to her and fucking her and stuff, like, he's going to have them anyway. Yeah, Yeah, well, that's true. But still, but now these people, by doing that, it's not something I would certainly do, but one fucking bottle man of fucking shampoo and conditioner or whatever they use lasts eight months for those cunts right but all right the funny the guy gets the guy's talking he goes yeah yeah we get in fucking three minutes blah blah blah. no hanky panky how the fuck can you have a shower with a sheila they're busy saving money nah fuck they're, that i'm a cheapo but do they do they share a toothbrush like one toothbrush. yeah they do they share the same toothbrush. Yeah, it makes it sense. Makes sense. <laughs> you can get a fucking toothbrush for 47 cents. Yeah, but it's extra toothpaste. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just get your own fucking toothbrush. Just stop farting on the mic. I didn't <laughs> fart on the microphone. The microphone went near me ass. <laughs> fucking dirty cunt. But yeah, anyway, so check out this extreme sh- cheapskate show because fuck, man, I thought I was bad. Oh, give us one of yours. What do you do? Get a tip for like a... Like a normal person could do. All right, a tip. Now, here's a tip that I thought was (laughs) fucking going to work. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just bust in. Yeah, bust in. Go on. Because sometimes being a cheapo doesn't pay off. Sometimes you can come a gutsa and being a cheapo can cost you more money. Well, funny enough... Shall I tell this story? Yeah, go. <clears throat> well, today we, we're doing our podcast, so Eddie comes up to GDHQ, fucking brings all the equipment, but forgets the microphone. The most, Im- well, one of the most important you need, and fucking ass. Yeah, we do have other mics, but... But not like, like this. Yeah, this is the good one. So anyway, we fucking... All right, you forgot the mic, let's go fucking get the mic, all right? It's dark, it's late, it's a Friday night, fucking... Saturday, isn't it? today oh yeah it's a saturday night yeah anyway it's a saturday night so it's late and shit fucking and i thought ah fuck it i'm going a few stations i'm not going to touch me ticket on the cunts fucking finish by now so we're on the train and all that fucking get bum rushed by fucking undercover fucking transits <laughs> and, the, and the cunt comes up checks the tickets wait can i just can i just interject yep. we got to the station of 16 minutes Till the train comes. Yeah, now that's another thing. I yeah. touched on, and yeah. Gav goes, I'm not touching on 16 minutes to go, fucking wasting money. That's right. Thing is, it costs the same to touch on to go four stations in the same zone. Yeah, true. 16 minutes, it cost me still the same amount of money if I'd touched on, like, as we got on the train. See what he does? I think I'm on a fucking winner and fucking <laughs> makes me feel shit. But he's right, though. I'll give him that. But, yeah, continue. You got the... Anyway, so get bum-rushed by the fucking transits. Fucking Eddie pulls out the ticket. Yeah, no worries. I pull out mine thinking, fuck, I didn't touch on. Anyway, I whip it out, give it to the cunt. And he scans. He goes, <laughs> did you touch on? I'm like, you fucking know if I touched on. But and he didn't swear. He's just trying to act tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll say it like I said. I said, no, I didn't touch on, sir. No, I didn't say that. I just <laughs> said, yeah. Said, don't beat me. Yeah, I said, yeah, I touched on, man. Mm. And he's, I said, look, I got eight bucks on my ticket. I touched on my mates here. He touched on. Why fucking wouldn't I touch on, right? Right, but I didn't. But I told him. I touched on. I fucking waved it on there, rubbed it on there, and I got on. Anyway, so he fucking gives me a ticket, this, or a, a fucking... Took your details, and they yeah. say, oh, we've got to check the thing, and... And all that shit. Now, I'm not paying the cunts. I'm going to fucking win. I didn't touch on, but fuck them. They don't know that. <laughs> why would... I'm going to state the fact, why would my mate touch on and I wouldn't when I have fucking money on my ticket for a start? Now, argue that fucking point. I'm going to not pay them because I'm going to win. I'm guaranteed I'll fucking... Make them pay you for the fair. Do you reckon I could do that? Doubt it. Well, they gave you a free ticket. 
Yeah, I know, but I'm not paying the fine because that's bullshit. I had now think could they argue the point if I argue <laughs> the point the fact that my friend touched on and I and I had money on my ticket too, why wouldn't I touch on? I told him, check the video surveillance I touched on, I didn't, but they're not gonna go to that point. But they can if they want, I'll tell them that I don't think they're gonna check the thing either, but No, nah, they're not. because the, the, the guy tells me but oh, what, what they've yeah. got is they'll just they say that the the thing worked because mine my ticket worked. But it doesn't always work, man. Sometimes you're sitting there rubbing and rubbing. Yeah, you got to go to the different one. Yeah, the but then another person will go use that one dee -dee, straight away. Have you, does that happen to you? I've had it where my ticket's like, you've got a crack in it or something and then it just doesn't work anymore and then you got to buy a new one. Yeah, but... Nah, uh, the, now look, yeah, that doesn't pay to be cheapo that way because I'm going to get away with it, so it's not the point, but... Because I'm going to fucking argue them those facts and you, and you can't argue science or maths what is it uh, mathematics yeah you can't that's mathematics right there but they've got the mathematics of the the machine was working and you didn't touch on so they can they prove that i didn't touch on yeah it's how they would said on their little machine that the, saved it that you didn't touch on yeah but but that doesn't prove the that, fact that i didn't try and touch on yeah does it? No. Argue that point. Oh, mate. I'll fucking fight them. I'll go for years arguing the point. Not paying them. They're bastards. They're dead set fucking they bastards. Are, they're pricks. And can I just say if uh, any of uh, viewers or listeners uh, ticket inspectors, do you please uh, unsubscribe and fuck off? Yeah, get fucked, you fucking scumbag. And get a proper job and then come back and subscribe. Yeah, we only fucking roll with real cunts. You know why... Um, they just whack ass wannabe fucking cops. They're shit. Yeah. Why they they're were wankers? The the pricks were on there so late. <clears throat> it's because back in the day, I heard that they have to get a certain amount of yeah, bus they do. per week. Yeah. And so they, that that group would have had uh, they'd been under quota. Yeah. So they'll ride the fucking lines yeah. till they bust as, as you know till they get their their quota up. Yeah. And they say they always say, oh, you might not get a ticket. But you always fucking do. Yeah, I know I'll get a ticket in the mail. I'll fucking go straight to the city. I'll write them letters. I'll fucking go there and I'll tell them. Nicely. I'm not going to be a fuckhead. But another thing, a couple of years ago, I had my feet not on the seat, man, fucking at all. There's like a Melbourne trains. you got your seats, and then there's like the side wall, and there's like this little lip thing on it, yeah, very yeah. little. And I had my foot on there, and this fucking wanker comes up. And comes up and goes, oh, you have your feet on the seat. And I'm like, how's my feet on the seat, man? It's on the lip on the wall here. And then he starts trying to read me right. So I could copper. I said, man, <laughs> who do you think you are? He goes, I'm a transit police. I said, exactly right. Don't read me r my rights like you're some sort of fucking cop or something. I swore at this guy. Mm. And he's like, oh, oh, and then, and I said, man, don't just even do it. You're making yourself look like a fucking wanker. You're a fucking transit cop. You're not a fucking cop. You can't read rights out to cunts. Anyway, so he fucking takes my details. Oh, you won't get fined. Yeah, right, I fucking won't get fined. <laughs> anyway, then it attempts to read me my rights again. I said, don't you act like a fucking fool. You're a fucking transit cop. Get that through your skull. Fucking read me my rights. Who the fuck do you think you are, you cocksucker? <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> fucking wannabe cop wanker. Our buddy, um... You know, Jack, mm -hmm. he's read up on it and he knows exactly what they can do, what he can say to them, and he just goes off at them. Yeah? Yeah. He's a clever cunt, though. He's, he's crazy, too, so... Yeah, that's why he's clever. That's good old good old toothless Jack. Mm. He's toothless and ruthless. And fucking rad. So you didn't get to... You went on a bit of a, a rant there and a tirade, but mm. you didn't get to your tip. What's your tip? Being cheap. Here's, here's a good tip. Save a bit of money. Touch your ticket on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's my tip. What's yours? <laughs> Save you two hundred and something bucks. Oh God, <laughs> I'm not paying him. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a funny smell in here. Yeah, it's your face. Oh, is my face smelling again? What's my tip for the week? Um, don't now. Okay, my tip for the week. Now, you want to do your garden and all that kind of stuff, right? You want to put this there. And there's pretty flowers, but they can be expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Take your heel off. Take it home. Put it in a cup with water for three days till it roots. Take a what? A heel. 
to snap off a bit of the plant. Oh, yeah. Right? Just from down the street. Somewhere. Yeah, down the street, right? And this is another tip I'll give you later as to do with flowers. But, yeah, you take off a heel, pop it in um, a glass of water for three days. It'll get roots planted, bang. And also another good tip is if you've got an anniversary coming up or Mother's Day or something like that, you've been naughty, the missus is fucking spewing at you. Right, and you want fucking to give her a bunch of flowers, but you'd you could spend that money on a game, could you not? Because mm. flowers are expensive. Yeah, yeah, like ten bucks. Or That's it. Go down the street, find where an old person lives. They got rad for, um, rose bushes and all that shit. Blah blah blah. But then again, if you don't want to go to that extent, just go to a fucking cemetery, man. It's full of flowers. <laughs> They're already fucking wrapped. The dead people don't want them. They, what are they going to fucking they do can't with them? Use them? That's it. Just go they there, grab them, them, take them to the missus. Love you to bits, styles. Fucking sorry about the boys coming over and you know playing slap, video games all night. Yeah, slapping your forehead with these cock and shit. <laughs> Didn't mean it. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of flowers for the missus, mate. Fucking, that's a tip that works. Trust me. I like how about ninety percent of your tips involve stealing. But- that's not saving s- money. It's donated. It's been given to the dead and they don't need it. So you take it. And you're taking the plants from the <laughs> garden before they die. They're going to die, man. Get some use out of it. Get yourself rude at night or something. Get off the couch back into the bed at least. But one good thing about um, having to go back to my house because I've got the mic. Yeah. Is we got to take a bunch of consoles to my house. And why did we do that? Because... My uh, housemates, James and Kylie, moved out. They did. And they were sharing the room next to mine. They've gone, spare room, setting up a games room. GD's finally getting the fucking game room. It's coming along pretty nice. Yeah, it's going to be rad as fuck, man. So I already had the PlayStation and the Master System there. Yeah, you did. Master System 2. And you came over yesterday and brought PlayStation 2. Yeah, PlayStation 1. Uh, the Yeah, another PlayStation 1. and Super Famicom. Yeah. And, and then... Yeah. Didn't bring all? any games, though. No. Yeah, so I think that's all I brought, yeah. And then today... Yeah. We brought a stack of shit. Uh, Mega Drive. Dreamcast. Saturn. You brought the Saturn. Xbox. Original. Not the third not, one. Not the third one. That's named the this first one. the first one. one. Yeah. Almost said Xbox One then, because it's the... It is an Xbox One. And apparently not. No, well, not according to Xbox. Yeah, but yeah, and we brought a couple of Ataris down. Oh, yeah, the VCS and the 2600 Junior. Yeah, there's a GameCube there as well. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's going to be a fucking rad room, man. Eddie's going to set it up rad as fuck. When it's all done and shit, fucking, we'll do a t- show you the tour and shit. And how and rad it is. We can do a, um, finally set up a green screen wall so we can actually yeah. try and do some chroma key. Yeah, well, you can do that. Yeah. And I'll be there. But, um, yeah, no, nah, it's going to be fucking rad, man. But the only <coughs> thing that it's going to lack is Nintendo carts. I'll take them. Nah, that. you can't take them. They, I love them, man. I just, <clears throat> just, nah. I'll take them. Nah, don't take them. That'll be upsetting. And we've got a, um, got a, Decent size CRT TV as well, so you can play with the zapper, play some Duck Hunt. Yeah. So we've, we've got like got three copies over there. Yeah, if not more, and fucking... But thanks to Fitzy for sending us one, because yeah. he's a champ. Yeah, Fitzy's rad. But, um, yeah, and, you, and the PS1 guns there, we've got Time Crisis and shit, but you said, you said it won't work. Yeah, I think you need the... It was on the Game Sack episode... They yeah. did the PlayStation. I think you need their first release one or something. That's fucking shit. Yeah, some maybe it'll work. I don't know. But anyway, <coughs> it's still there anyway, man. Mm. And there's still other shit we've got to take down. We've still got heaps of shit hanging around. Yeah, so we should have pretty much. Is a Neo Geo? You've set that up. Yeah, in the there. Neo Geo X. Got Playing it. Blue's Journey last night. Yeah, that's that was, like a rad game. That's fucking rad as that game, man. Really rad. So, yeah, GD's going to have a game room. It's going to be set up rad. We'll fucking, yeah, do you as a tour when it's all done and shit. And, um, yeah, fucking, I'm looking forward to it. It's not at my joint, but fucking just as good. Yeah, it'd be ripper. Yeah, it's going to be rad as fuck, man. It's going to be awesome. It's a fair fair size room and shit, too, so it's going to come up fucking a treat. Mm. Yep, so 
We're rolling. It'll be Ripper. Fuck yeah. So Gav. Yep. There's a, a YouTube channel. It's a, it's a little one. Yeah. Not many people know about it. Okay. And it hasn't got very many subs. Underground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, it's called Beat'em Ups. Oh, yeah, that dude, you seen man. That one? Yeah, 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 I've it's, seen that dude it's before. It's a guy, Woody. Yeah, yeah. Does his show, collects video games, and yeah, he loves his stuff. Yeah, yeah, fucking oath he does. He uh, won the YouTuber of the month. Oh, yeah, yeah, fucking oath. <clears throat> and then when... <clears throat> excuse moi. No, you excuse, madam. When you win the YouTuber of the month, yep. then you have to nominate five guys or five channels for the next one. Yeah, fucking oath you do. And um, young Woody was nice enough to give the old GD the nod, and we're, we're in a nomination. Fucking oath we are, amongst four others. For, yeah, yeah, and um, pretty stiff fucking competition, though. We've got PSX Collector. Yeah, yeah, the PSX Man. We've got the the Video Game Hunter. Yeah. Stefano. Stefano, Stefano, whatever Oh. Yeah, I hope I said that right. Yeah, yeah so do I. One of us did. Anyway, <laughs> Between us, we'll get there. Yeah, you know what we that's, mean. That's how we do it. And who else? Who else? Well, fuck the leftover man. culturist. Yeah, that dude, the oh, Chris Fluro Bruiser. man. Yeah, yeah, he loves it. Did a fucking rad fucking review on um, uh, uh, what's Toxic. It? Toxic Crusaders, and you know, and all that shit. But what made and his it turtles rad? one too? Was yeah, but he used the rad toys, man. As a rad. Oh yeah, he's got of, heaps of them, doesn't he? Yeah, that's. I appreciate that when you did that, man. That was fucking a rad video up there. And then who else? How many is that? That's three. three. And then Super Derek. Yep, Super D. Super Derek's rad, rad reviews. Yep, Super and all that. And I've been on a podcast with him. Like Super Steve, as Chopper said on the Chopper movie. <laughs> Super Steve. <coughs> and, then, yeah. and then little old us got yep. in there too. Fucking oath we did. Now, all the other nominees are fucking rad and shit. Much respect from both of us here. But fuck, man, vote for us. Come on. <laughs> vote for GD. Fucking give us the fucking, the shit, for, you know? Please, vote, fucking... And if you haven't, I'll put a linky thing yep. in the bottom of the what's him call it. Eddie Will. Down below the video thing. Yep. yep. Unless you're watching this on, or well, listening to this on Podbean. Yep. And then... Then you can go to YouTube and... And do, then figure it out yourself. Yeah, do, do what Ed said. And all that. And look, yeah, look, you guys vote for us. I'll take your sister's, sister out on a date. No worries. You might not give her back, but... Yeah, but I'll we'll still <laughs> so take her take out. <laughs> fucking I'll shout any any mm. sh- Sheila a fucking Big Mac meal if she's going to... If, if if you're going to vote for us. But yeah, nah, please. That's Woody, much respect for... Yeah, us. and yeah, we, to forget to... Well, we did mention, but fucking... What? Woody won out of all those guys. The yeah, four guys he was up against. Yeah, them. that's a rad effort in itself. Well done, man. Big ups there and major ups for nominating us as well as the other dudes and like we said much respect to the other guys you do rad shit but yeah, so if you're not watching, radar. watching them go watch them click the old sub button i think uh, pretty much if our audience is knows who they are but yeah well, just in case do. you haven't but yeah look um check them out because they're rad check them out they are look voting for gd you're getting radness you're getting bargains and you just fucking... Getting all that shit. Getting it all, mate. So, pop us up for a vote. Be much appreciated. Yeah, I'll take your sisters out on dates. Or if... Or your um, mums. On the on the flip side of that... Eddie will date your brothers. Um, no, that's not what I was going <laughs> to say. Bullshit. <laughs> but if you vote for us, Gav won't take your sister out. Oh, don't do that. I want to take them out. Right, but they probably don't want you to. Oh, come on. If you got any sisters out there, <laughs> show them our video, and and I and I want your opinion. Would that would would your sister go to McDonald's with me? Would she accept a Big Mac meal from me? I'll even upgrade for a dollar just to prove I mean business. Fuck, I oh, know that's S- class, man. <laughs> that's fucking class. <laughs> As you all know, I'm a fucking cheapo, but if I'm willing to shout at uh, Sheila, fucking. Those type of meals. She'd have to be a top sort, though. Oh, mate, I spoil. I spoil the women. <laughs> I spoil the women. Fuck yeah. Fucking lucky bitches. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking oath, mate. They, they love it. But yeah, vote. Please vote for GD. We fucking... It'd be much appreciated by us both. Wouldn't it, Ed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
totally would. Yeah. So Gav. Yeah, don't forget your sisters, guys. Don't forget you guys' sisters. Yep. And brothers for Ed. Brothers for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got a brother for you. You can have him. He's too big. He's a six foot three. You'll fucking split ya. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> carry on. Um, recommend a game. Go. Well, well, I'm just going to recommend Mario 3. As you know, I've been fucking playing it the last week or whatever. And um, yeah, it's as rad as the first time I played it. Um, still rad. Fucking yeah, if you haven't checked it out, nearly everyone does. Check out Mario 3. Do not waste your time with Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> would, you, would you recommend the, the virtual console on your 3DS? Oh yeah, version? look, Mario 3 plays rad Ed. Like, fuck man, I haven't had any trouble, man. You know, I'm I'm gifted anyway. Yeah, but it, still, it, it, it means special. Yeah, yeah I'm but very like special. Rick, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's what they diagnosed. But anyway, but yeah, Mario Three. I recommend that. Um, yeah, purely because I've been playing the fuck out of it. Eddie, what do you recommend? I recommend. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like <an> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, just recommend uh, your game. Uh, you, you fuck it, you threw me off. That no nah, podcast finished. Fuck it, I'm done. I'm out. Oh, all yeah. right. Peace out. See you guys. See ya. But I recommend. Oh, okay. <laughs> War games on PlayStation One. Recommended. Picked it up for a couple of dollars. Yeah. Down the oppy. Mm-hmm. And it's based on the '80s movie War Games, starring Matthew Broderick. Oh, Matty B. As one of his really early movies, he's a young teenager. Yeah. And he looks real weird when he was young. Like, he looks heaps different than he does in Ferris Bueller. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah, he had a day off then. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. I'm and he, he fucks shit up in this one, too. Because he, like, he hacks in... He's trying to hack into a video game company. Oh, cool. And it turns out it's a simulation thing for NORAD, which mm. is where they... The North American radar something defense. It's got rad in it. Yeah. That's rad. It's no rad, but... We're rad. <laughs> anyway, it's a rad movie. And then the game is based on, like, after the movie. And it's like you're driving little tanks and shit around and you got to blow up all the bad guys. Sounds rad. Yeah, it's heaps of cool. And it's got little nods to the movie and shit. Like, the code for the, for the levels is tic-tac-toe. Hmm. Oh. Which is how they win the movie um beat the computer in the movie oh because you can't beat like you can't win at tic-tac-toe well you can if the other person doesn't if, know how to play the person's it. other person's stupid but yeah. yeah um so that's the computer realizes that the nuclear war no one wins everyone dies wouldn't they yeah pretty much unless you had a gas mask you have to be in a vault like in fallout yeah and then you'd You'd miss all the radiation and the all that shit that comes afterwards. Mm. Mm-hmm. It kills everyone. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Nuclear war, don't do it. Nah. No, no to nukes. Isn't that what they used to say? Yeah. Nuke the whales. What's that mean? That's what Nelson said in the Simpsons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nuke the whales. Good old Nelson Muntz. Ha ha. Where? You got anything else? I got lots of stuff, but that'll do for the pod. Will it? Yeah, I've got lots of inches. Inches? Mm. Yeah, that's all I'm saying now. That's <laughs> all I've got. What are you about you? It's lots like two. Nah, fucking two. I'm talking 12. You got two full mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> all right, we got to go by. Peace out. What's invisible and smells like bananas? What? Monkey farts. <laughs> What's yellow and smells like bananas? <laughs> Monkey shit. Monkey vomit. <laughs> when are we starting? Now. All right.